Hello everyone and welcome back to Crossheads Gaming. Today we are going to take a look at Vanquish's PC port. This futuristic third person shooter promises revolutionary movement abilities and great gunplay. All of that for a reasonable price of 19 euros and 99 cents or your regional equivalent. So Vanquish. A game that has already been released previously in the year 2010 is now finally after almost 7 long years of waiting available on the PC platform as well. And was the wait worth it? Hell yeah! So let's start with a quick overview of the gameplay. Vanquish is a very fast paced shooter, just a quick tutorial and you are thrown straight into the action. And you guys know how much I love being thrown into the action quickly. There aren't any long sessions of you running around almost completely useless. Just do the tutorial, watch a few cutscenes, and those are by the way skippable from the very first playthrough, and maniacally laugh as you're having a blast blasting enemies into their graves. If that isn't a perfect introduction to a shooter, I really don't know what is. The shooting itself feels pretty good, though it does carry two burdens. First one is the fact that it was originally a PlayStation 3 and an Xbox 360 release, so it does feel a bit too console-y for us PC gamers. You don't have to aim super precisely to hit enemies and the cover system is used very prominently. I would lie if I said I like these two features, but honestly, they aren't as bad. The second issue is the fact that 7 years have passed since the creation of this game. It has honestly matured better than anyone could have expected, but you can still feel that certain shooting mechanics feel a bit dated, even by console standards. I especially dislike the fact that you can carry only 4 weapons at a time, especially if you are in a futuristic super soldier and your weapons are just morphing one to another. It makes sense in a World War II game, but not here. At least you have a pretty decent selection of weapons, ranging from the expected things like a shotgun or an assault rifle, up to weird powerful things like a rocket launcher or even a, well, disc thrower, probably the weirdest weapon I have ever laid my eyes on. The weapons do feel somewhat, well, again, console-y, but it is understandable and you won't really care in the heat of the action that much. On the other hand, the movement feels so awesome. The fact that you can slide around for pretty decent chunks of time makes you feel and really be incredibly agile. You can slide from one cover to another, shooting a few baddies on the go and then just do that again. Well, until your suits overheats. But the game is pretty generous with this mechanic and you can slide for longer periods than you would expect. I know, I know, these days the sliding mechanic has been used in a few games, but this one is the original and it does it really well. Apart from the movement, there is also essentially bullet time. And it is accessible in two ways. First, you can access it manually by clicking the right mice button during an evade, or it will trigger automatically by you getting damaged so much that you are close to dying, thus allowing you to get out of sticky situations. But altogether, this is a very good, only slightly dated third person shooter in terms of its mechanics. Whenever you will be sliding around a place, you will feel like an absolute badass but this feeling is slightly offset by the need for being in cover very often and the fact that you don't need to aim absolutely precisely. I wish the port also took a look at its shooting mechanics, taking these slightly dated things and modernizing them, but I understand that it would be asking a bit too much. Ok, that's it for this review about the gameplay. There are plenty of more in-depth reviews you can find online from the past. Now it's time to talk a bit about the graphics. So keeping in mind that this is a 7 year old game, it does look amazing. Yes, the textures could use a bit more detail, yes the particle effects aren't really the best you have ever seen, but they still look very good and they won't disappoint you. 
Now on to the performance part of the review. This one will be slightly longer than it is usual for my reviews, but not by that much. But let's start with the very basic. The game runs well at almost any system, runs at the XX frame rate your monitor is running at, and you can easily swap between a mouse keyboard combo and a controller. There are a few issues, like the secondary bindings not displaying correctly in menus, but working in game, or black bars if you aren't using a 16x9 resolution, even though this one is solvable through a special launcher, but none of these made the game play any less awesome. So, in conclusion, the port of Vanquish is one awesome port. If you're looking for a great third person shooter, Vanquish will definitely suit your needs. On top of that, it will run on pretty much any gaming computer anyone owns these days. The price tag of $20 is pretty well placed in my opinion as well. Well, that's it for today guys. Hope you liked the review and if you did, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel for more gaming reviews. And comment if you had something you would like to add. And if you didn't like the video, well, dislike it. See you all next time with more gaming content.